Remember, when handling the fish, it is always advisable to cover its eyes. This ensures that it does not struggle during the handling. Once this is done, the fish are returned back into the tanks to await stripping. Normally, the fish will be ready for stripping after several hours depending on the temperature of the water. For example, at 25 degrees centigrade, the fish will be ready after 11 hours. At 28 degrees, they will be ready after 8 hours and at 30 degrees they will be ready after 7 hours. Unfortunately, we will be forced to sacrifice our fish by killing it in order to obtain the testes. These testes will be placed in a mortar shortly as we do the stripping. The stripping of the female fish is carried out by gently pressing the abdomen with the thumb, starting from the area around the chest, moving towards the genital papilla. This movement is repeated continuously until some traces of blood can be seen. At this point, the stripping should be stopped and the fish returned back into the water. If the stripping is carried out on proper timing, the eggs will flow out easily in a thick jet. Immediately after the stripping, the testes are rapidly cut into small pieces using a pair of scissors.
After cutting and squeezing the milk out of the testes, it is then washed into the eggs using the saline solution. Remember, inside the saline solution, both the sperms and the eggs remain in their dormant state until they come into contact with fresh water. Fertilization of the eggs is then initiated by adding an equal volume of fresh water. To transfer the eggs into the incubation containers, the substrates are dipped into the water containing the eggs and the eggs will stick on these substrates. They are then transferred into the tanks or hypernets or basins, whichever incubation container is available. Once the fertilization has taken place, the eggs become sticky and it is advisable to continue stirring until all the eggs have been put into the hatching tanks. This is because if the stirring is stopped, then the eggs will stick together and form one big clump.